Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today we're going to do an unboxing and a review of the Be Quiet Prayer Base 500 DX. Fantastic looking case. Let's put it through its bases and see if it measures up. Here we go. So here's our first look. Fairbase 500DX from Be Quiet. It's designed for exceptional airflow. Let's get it out of the box. Okay, so initially we can look at it. See it comes with styrofoam. Okay. Now it's only a one-time use, so if it does get damaged, of course, it's not going to be much good anymore. But you know what? It suits the purpose. So let's continue. Inside here, I'm always nervous that when I get this, because it's tempered glass, and especially this one came from quite a while ago, came from a ways away, so it's going to be damaged. But thankfully, that's never happened as yet. So, so far, so good. So here's your little manual that comes with it, Purebase 500. It will tell you everything in here in terms of all the stuff that comes out, all the removable parts, size it, you can put your fan, everything like that. So let's get the plastic off. Everything seems to be in good shape. The glass is not broken, that's a good sign. All right, so let's start a review. Okay, so we're gonna start with the front of the case. The, there's two LED strips in here which will light up and it does have a button on the top to control that with and I don't know if it syncs with the motherboard software but we'll find that out later uh, when we do a build. So to take this case off a simple, like most cases, I'm just going to bring this to the edge here and it's just a matter of just pull on the bottom and it's off just like that. Okay, so you can see it's mesh which is very nice, very well put together, and of course, designed for good airflow. All right, there's a look at the inside. Little plastic pieces that just go together. All right, so it makes it easy to take off and on. Let's move on. We have our filter right here. The air filter on the front comes off just by pushing this, or pulling this, I should say. It's got little grooves, okay, so that's where these all fit into. You just fit in there and it's magnetic and it just holds in place put your cover back on you're good so it makes it really easy to clean okay and another nice thing it doesn't have is it doesn't have the cables attached to the front when you take it off so if you want to put fans on or whatever you can do that as you can see it does come with one 140 millimeter fan and room for I'd say two in total or three 120s so staying in line with uh, filters, there's another one on the bottom. So you just pull those out. And now you'll be able to take that out and clean that as well. Very simple. I'm going to put that over here too. You can see how it just it's put together in such a great way to make things easier to clean, to put in new fans, whatever you want to do. Um, this is a huge step up from their uh, Turbase 500 from about, I don't know, I guess maybe a year or two years ago now. So really liking this. I may actually switch my system over into this. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. So that's pretty much it for the front. We're going to get to the top to show you some of the buttons and and uh, headphone mic and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so having a look at the top, you've got the button here for controlling your LED lights in the front. you got your headphones, your mic, your power button. There is no reset, so no, don't worry looking for that. Uh, you have a USB 3.0 and a USB 3.1 Type-C. So, what happens in a case when you've got the Type-C, but your motherboard doesn't accommodate it? All right. Well, that's going to be in another video. So, if you want to know, you want to know the answer to that? If you're curious, stay tuned. It's coming up. On the top, it has a filter as well. Okay, you can put it this way. You can reverse it, put it the other way. Or, if you don't want it for whatever reason, you can take it off. And then, of course, we have room for our fans on the top. So on the top of our case, we have a 140 millimeter 
It is a Pure Wings 2, they call it now, a 140 millimeter fan. It has room to set another one beside it so you can have two 140s, or if you had a radiator, a 240 millimeter. Or you can have a couple of 120s if you wanted to. Okay, so it has three fans included, all 140s. One in the front, which I show you, one in the top, which I just showed you, and one for the rear exhaust. So if you want to add a couple fans in the front, or you want to put 120s, that's certainly up to you. So on the front, when we're talking about radiators, you can have you can have a front radiator from 120 millimeter all the way up to 360 for a radiator in the inside. On the top, like I said, you can do a 120 or a 140, and in the rear you can have a 120 or a 140. Okay, so next we're going to get our uh, tempered glass off. Just got a couple screws in the bottom here. And of course a couple on the top. Pretty standard size. And of course I just like to hold the bottom just even though it's really not going to come off. Um, it's just me being cautious. And our last one right here. What I mean by being cautious is as you can see it sits on those rubber grommets or whatever you want to call them. So you have to kind of pull it out for it to come off. And then we'll move on. I want to get to the back, show you that. And we'll spend more time on the inside here in a little bit. So let's move to the back. Okay, so that's where our IO shield is going to go. There's your 140 millimeter uh, fan from Be Quiet. You have seven slots for your PCI uh, car graphics cards or adapters or whatever it might be. And true fashion for uh, Be Quiet, the Back for your power supply, we'll unscrew here, top and bottom. Put that on, slide your power supply in, feed your cables into uh, and up into these little slots, and we're good to go. I like the size of it. So we're going to get the back, the, the other side panel off. They are adaptive screws. In fact, they're, they're loose, which is surprised it's held in place, but it is. Okay, right, so we just pull this. comes off real easy. And of course... As they're known for, you've got your sound insulating panel here. So, of course, they've got the cables really well done, which I like. You can always put everything in here. Now, something that happens on some cases, and I like to explain it, sometimes you see this SATA cable and some people don't know what it's for. This is for your case fans or RGB or whatever it might be. So you do need to make sure you plug that into a SATA connector from your power supply to make sure that all works. If you don't do that, it's not going to work. You have one fan. Actually, you have two fans. They are three pin. We'll have a look at that a little bit later. Find out more about it. Your SSDs can mount here. It has a screw right here so you can undo this. And this will come right off. Makes it good for putting things on. And if you want the extra room when you're putting on your CPU cooler, you're going to have that room to do it. You do see that you have a fan connected here. Okay, so just to keep that in mind, and of course twist ties to hold everything in place. So, yeah, we have our little box of goodies down here. And we'll see those in a minute. Have a look at them. Then you have a couple additional spots for putting SSDs inside here. And the hard drive cage has two little screws here to remove it. Let's just do that real quick. Adaptive screws again. And then it is just uh, get these cables out of the way. It should come right out. There we go. So it has sound dampening for your hard drives if you put in mechanical hard drives. And you couldn't put in SSDs as well. So just keep that in mind. But it's nice if you want to take it out to have that extra room. If you don't want to use mechanical hard drives, you've got the extra room for a bigger power supply. These are all great features, by the way. I don't know if you realize that, but you don't always get all those extra little features in a case this size. And when you do, it's, it's just so nice to see. Now, like I say, this part will come off. There's a screw up here. You want to take this part off, you can take it off again. Another um, three-pin fan. And, uh, yeah, let's move to the inside of the case. So when you have a look in the inside of the case, a couple of things I want to point out. Um, first, is I put this around here, it's RGB. Now first I thought it was for the RGB strip in the front. Turns out there's a RGB LED strip on the top here. 
you it's very difficult to see but it's in there really good so there's no problem with it falling down nothing like that and it's just going to give you a little bit of nice illumination so you do have this little piece here so you can bring your cables in and it's going to help you to hide it when you plug into your motherboard so that's just another nice feature uh, this does take a uh, ATX micro ATX and a mini ITX motherboard and it's got your slot here for your standoff so you can it's kind of like Corsair does with their cases so a lot of manufacturers are starting to do this so you can fit your motherboard on here it's going to hold it in place you get your standoffs a couple of them in here you put in the rest of them whatever you're going to need and you're good to go and down here it will tell you what motherboard uh, you can put in you've got your openings down here okay a little bit wider than uh, some cases and of course you have your mesh opening and that's just going to help you um, be able to see uh, where your cables can come through and give you more room and of course without the uh, hard drive bay in here you've got uh, more room in here and you can see where right here you're going to be able to fit in your 360 360 millimeter rat and that's pretty much all there is to it i mean one thing i'll go back to the back here again is you do have a lot of tie downs okay so plenty of tie downs and one more thing i want to show on the back here as well is with all your different cabling and stuff is like you have your sata which i think i've already mentioned and of course it has the usb connector because of course the usb c is on the case so keep that in mind and uh, if you're going to buy a motherboard for it to maybe try and make sure that it has a uh, place to plug that in because not all motherboards do so something to know okay and that is a look and there's one more thing we're going to do now is i'm going to uh put everything back together and we're going to show you a little bit of a look at the leds okay so here we're having a look at our rgb light as you can see that's how it's going down now you have the button on the far right you hold it down it changes its pattern goes to a rainbow color red and you just keep going through that and if you hold it down I believe you can turn it off okay so when you hold it for a couple seconds what will happen is this will color will come to one color and what happens then is with your RGB plugged into your motherboard you can then control it with your motherboard software so that's just one little feature that they wanted to add just so you could see that all right now I don't know if you can see it it's pretty hard to notice but you can see how I put my hand underneath here you can see the light coming from this well, let me just turn this off so you can see the light very subtle coming from the RGB strip okay and you can change that color of course it's white right now and we'll change that to different colors and helps to illuminate the inside of the case and it'll go with your color scheme as well okay so we're back to a different color scheme here and i think now you can see the blue how it's reflecting off the fan here and once this rgb is connected to your motherboard you will be able to use the motherboard software so one more thing i did not show you is the accessories so of course we know the accessories what they all are I'm not sure if I show that to you or not but we'll open it up so inside your box of accessories you've got all your different screws okay everything for your motherboard twist ties all that kind of good stuff so that's what's in the box just so you know now this is an ATX mint tower case okay the dimensions are 510 by 285 by 501 and that's length width and height in millimeters its weight in kilograms is 7.83 uh, gross weight of 8.92 so some nice things to know are your cpu cooler is 190 millimeters power supply is a atx so this is 258 slash 225 depending on the position of the hard drive cage the gpu up to 369 millimeters okay and the thing with the special features is uh, the switchable multi-mold and multi-color uh, addressable RGB LED, just so you know. Uh, lighting is white, red, green, blue, orange, and purple. And, of course, you have your internal and external. And, of course, you have your support with your motherboard. Once you have your software, everything is up and connected.
So I did want to give you one quick look at the bottom. As I said, the filter slides to the front. You got some nice sturdy feet on it. Not much outside of the net, but just thought I'd point it out. All right, everybody. So that's the uh, review of the Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX. It's the step up from the Pure Base 500. It's got a few more features. It's got that nice LED, which is really cool. It's got the mesh front panel. Those are some of the most uh, frequent, uh, newer features. Um, I think it's a pretty damn good case. So I don't know what you think. Let me know in the comments. If you're new here, think about subscribing. If you like that video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Hit that bell for future notifications. Thanks for watching. Stick around for the next one. And thank you very much.